713 right now here in Connecticut. More than 20 people lose their lives every single year to domestic violence. There's something that you can do to help out. Bowl to Benefit is being held next Saturday, March 10th in Milford. And here to tell us more about the event is co-chair Melissa Pucci this morning. Good morning. Good to see you this Good morning. morning. And thank you for having so us. So tell me a little bit about how this benefit, it's for BH Care Center. Tell me a little bit of, more about what the center does. Sure. Um, the Center for Domestic Violence Services is a program of BH Care. And over the last year alone, it's serviced um, victims of domestic violence and their families throughout the lower Naugatuck Valley, um, the Shoreline Town and most of Greater New Haven and we've actually we actually provided unduplicated services to about 10,000 individuals so and then also not just for women but for their children as well correct most definitely men women children the elderly are increasingly becoming more and more victims of, of domestic violence at the hands of caregivers and and adult children unfortunately so I think there's this common misconception it's you know this is an, an an issue that just affects certain people, but it really it really affects a broad ba a broad you know po population. And I would imagine it's very difficult for people of domestic violence, the victims, to speak up because there's a, sh a shame factor potentially involved. Do you see that? Most definitely. I think it's fear and and shame as as well. You know, if you're told that if you tell someone that this is happening to you, that you know. The, the perpetrator is going to harm your children or your family, you know, it really makes the individuals take pause and it, it takes a lot. There are very strong individuals that do come forward and are able to get out of these, you know, difficult situations. So. And do you guys provide housing for victims? We do. Um, the Center for Domestic Violence uh, Services actually provides emergency shelter for the victims and their children, um, as well as a 24-hour crisis hotline, court advocacy program, counseling, and all of these programs are free and confidential, which okay, is most great. important. So let's talk about Bowl to Benefit because yes. there's something every single one of us can do to really help people out in this situation. And it sounds like a whole lot of fun, too. It is. This is our 24th annual Bowl to Benefit um, Domestic Violence Services. It's held, um, it's going to be next Saturday, March 10th in Milford at the AMF Lanes. And it is really just a wonderful day to raise awareness for this cause as well as to raise money for this cause because it, it does cost quite a bit to provide these services free of charge. So over the course of all day next Saturday, we'll have about 1,500 individuals bowl, volunteer, um, and support this, this really wonderful organization. So how do you get involved? Do you rent a lane? Do you just show up that day? Do you need to make reservations? Um, we do um, ask our teams to make, make plans ahead of time and to uh, register their team with our organization. Um, up to five individuals can bowl um, per team and we can accommodate about 60 teams per each of our five bowling sessions. Um, we ask them to pay a registration fee and then they will uh, go out and raise, raise pledges for us. And you know, the more pledges they raise, the better. So. Excellent. Melissa Pucci, it looks like a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Thank you for the work Thank you, you for do for the BH Care Center, and it's great Thank to you. have you with us this Thank morning. Thank you very much. Let's check in with Erica Groh with a look at today's weather.